back to the Joe HRG podcast where I uh, say whatever I want, do whatever I want, and uh, you listen or don't. <laughs> anyway, um, that was nothing to say by the loner, aka me. Uh, I uh, wrote that this past week, and uh, it's on Bandcamp under the loner, SoundCloud is the loner. Uh, it's on YouTube under the Joe H or G, um, YouTube channel. Also have Bloodroot linked in that, probably, I think, somewhere. Um, not for the song, but for the YouTube channel. Um, yeah. So that's great. Uh, I tried to figure out what a topic would be for today, but I'm... I was having a little trouble, and I didn't have any friends to be able to um, come in for today, because uh, we're off for some we're We're all off, so we all had, like, prior plans and stuff, so I'm, uh, I'm flying solo again. However, if you know me and are a friend of mine and you want to, like, join the podcast, please contact me. I will, I honestly would love to talk about something with you because topics get very scarce when I'm talking to myself because it really does feel like you're talking to yourself when you're on a podcast with yourself cool cool um I'm gonna talk a little bit about music theory mostly because I wrote a paper on it yesterday and it's still fresh in my brain I'm also going to talk about some and complain and like sort of poke fun at things I find funny or stupid. So yeah, there's that. Um yeah, so music theory, it exists. There's uh there's your basic stuff like reading a staff and your treble clef, bass clef, that all that good stuff. The stuff that makes you able to read sheet music. You got that. That's that's cool. Um you got your modes and stuff. That's, I think that's useful still. Slightly borders on useless sometimes. Depends on what you're doing. Um, because, like, if you don't change, like, if your song's in one mode the entire time, you don't necessarily need to know all the other modes if you're only sticking in one corner of your mode and you only want your song to sound one way but you know there's that i need to write a happy song that's what i need to do um because all of them sound sad uh and then let me think uh so yeah that's fine then you get in the circle fifths which gets it tells you like what keys you can can't use and what what Helps you figure out what chords go in what keys and stuff like that. But, like, I'd say that's where you can start breaking off. And, you know, once you know the basics, you can kind of break off a little bit and start uh, innovating or uh, working in your own way. Uh, I mean that in, like, you're not always going to follow what the circle of fifths says or what the modes say. You might, I don't know, feel something different. You might be able to go in and out of key uh, at random times. You might switch keys at random times. I've done that before. Uh, I tend to go between major and minor for no reason on songs. I'll just get bored of playing in a minor key, so then I'll just switch all the chords over to the major key or to their major counterparts and then go back and forth between that and a song. But it doesn't matter because no one listens to my songs anyway because, I don't know, because they're not catchy tunes for you to hook on to or something like that because my my style of music is generally quite either depressing or negative. It has negative energy on it, if you want to say that. Um, All my solo stuff tends to have this sort of depression vibe to it, I'd say, or like the, I guess, the indie musician quality to it, which is why I'm probably going to be penniless for a while, unless Bloodroot takes off, um, 
And then there's Blood Root, which is like death and sludge metal. And people get turned off a lot by that. Because for some reason, I mean, there are a lot of metalheads and people who like that sort of stuff. But like, there are also, also the stuff that comes with that is like people who just like, eh, will discount you for reasons I don't even know. You don't make as much. You don't do as much. You don't sell out so many shows. You're not a pop star. You're not a rock. You're you're a uh, basically. I'll be uh, Bloodroot will be limited to the pubs. I mean, currently it is. And then when I fail as a musician, I'll go do worship if I have to. <sighs> because I I, I, I gotta keep. I gotta keep playing stuff. But yeah, that's sort of my little tangent about music theory and, like, being a fuck, uh, a, a terrible son of a gun. I'm gonna curse this time. I, I don't, I, I gotta, I'm 18 at this point. This, this, uh, this, th- th- this episode is just discount because I'm just gonna curse for a good, like, 10 to 20 minutes. I apologize, Mom, if you ever listen to this. I don't know if you listen to my podcast or not. I'm also apologizing in advance to any of you who, uh, yeah, skip to whatever time code. I'll I'll tell you when I edit it later, but yeah, so you might want to skip after this. Sometime after the seven-minute mark, you might want to stop and join back later. Okay. So I'm fucking pissed about how 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 fucking people can decide, hey, let's get this fucking let's get this fucking young superstar in here. We're gonna make him make happy music. And let's let's bring out back that old grunge sound, you know? Let's let's sound like every other fucking person from the nineties. And never do anything fucking useful in this life. Nah, let's just go back and rewrite everything that we've already done. And I know art is influenced, yes. I know, I understand art has influences, but I'm still kind of pissed when it's just copying those influences. It's not like rewriting the influence, it's just copying it. I mean, I think I do the same thing too, to an extent, but I at least try to make something new with it. But then, no, they're, they're the... The pop stars, there's your Olivia Rodrigo and your uh, fucking Gail. I forgot who, what her fucking name was. The, the ABCD girl. Uh, yeah, that that whole style is really reminiscent to 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 uh, late ninety to like nineties grunge and like early two thousands rock. And it's like, well, great. It's great that you're doing something old. But, like, could you do something fucking new? Because I, I don't need... I don't... I don't need 20 more people to to bog down the fact that I can't fucking... That I'm a fucking loser. I don't need that shit anymore, okay? I don't need that. I don't... I don't... I don't need that fucking deal where where I need someone to drive home the point. That, oh, you're a fucking metalhead. So because you do your little death sludge thing, we're gonna make more money than you. Like, yeah, I know you are. But could you just, like, fucking stop? Maybe my thing is shit. I don't know. I don't get to... I don't get to express it. Because we can't make it off the bass ground. Because we have to switch bassist. Because our fucking initial bassist literally can't do shit. So yeah, I'm kinda pissed. Damn, that was a good tangent, okay? Listen, you do you, but I'm fucking pissed about industry stuff. Yeah, and I'm also pissed that you can use the same four chords over and over again. Use some nothing new, please. I don't fucking care if, if, if you just make them take the chord, the same four chords and make a minor. I don't give a fuck. If you do that... Honestly, I give praise to you because that is something better than fucking the same four chords over and over again. That's why I like jazz. <laughs> That's what drove me to jazz and to metal was because I don't want to hear a one, five, four, six, 
you know, you know, the, 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 you know, the normal shit. I want to hear like two five ones and stuff like that. And for re- frame of reference for that, uh, it, it's music theory bullshit. But essentially, it means stuff that sounds good together generally stays the same. Um, some people learn to innovate, and so they decided, hey, instead of doing this stuff in this key, let's use different chords. But nah, 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 we're going to use the same four chords for the next five billion years. Although that does make every cover I do pretty fucking easy. I could do like, I could literally play, all you have to do is learn the four chords from Don't Stop Believin', or just learn Canon and D, and boom, you have every pop song. Done. It was so fucking easy. Damn, I gotta stop being pissed. But yeah, that's that's my rant on fucking industry and how much I just don't give a fuck anymore. Um Now on a lighter note, uh fuck. On a lighter note, um Yeah. Let's talk about your mom. No, uh on a lighter note, I'm actually fine right now I'm we're going to do some new stuff I hope I'm really tired of being bored I need I I gotta get my shit together this shit's gotta get going okay I'm leaving for college soon that's that's gonna fuck up my life I need to get this I I gotta get this show rolling uh either this podcast or my music or something I gotta get fucking on it so that when I can, so that I can make this career, this dream, this whatever the fuck I have, into a reality. Cause, god damn it, it fucking sucks when it's not a reality. Like I want this to be real. I don't need a hobby. Okay, I have a, I had a hobby. Okay, I have a hobby. It's generally like fishing and basketball. Guitar is also technically a hobby, but it is also what I hoped to use to like income music all that crap I want to use it to make an income and I want to use this to make an income too maybe I don't know we'll see we'll see how the podcast shakes down I don't know I'm if I wasn't if I'm not famous by now I'll be fucked for the rest of my life anyway so who cares really in the grand scheme of things most people who are they get famous by now I've I've already passed the prime of when to be famous and when to deal with that. So I'm fucked. There's no point uh, to this rant. All I can say is uh, deal with yourself, do things healthy, and uh, don't be like me, okay? Achieve your dreams the way you can and do it practically, okay? Don't, don't, don't. Don't be like, oh, I'm past my prime. Because I'm past my prime at this point, and I'm fucking pissed. Don't get pissed, okay? If you're past your prime, keep going. You you got this. You keep going on that. On that. You you keep trying, because you got to make... If you if you work hard, hard enough, you can make it a reality. If you put in the effort, you got to make this thing a reality. But yeah, that's my rant. My encouragement is to keep going, and so, yeah, uh, that's the end of the podcast for today. Uh, Have a good morning, a good evening, and good night. Goodbye.